Good news, everybody. NVIDIA sneaked a nice little surprise into their latest driver update. Streamers and content creators, this one's for you. News alert. So NVIDIA driver 551.23 for GPUs ranging all the way back to the GTX 750 Ti used to have a limitation of five encoding sessions. This driver update now ups that session limit to eight. Eight. The reason this is a big deal ties into Twitch's enhanced broadcasting beta, which will give streamers the ability to encode multiple streams at different qualities and send it all to Twitch, like a DIY transcoding setup. Different qualities at different bit rates for different people on different connections. Yes! The reason this is important is if you send, say, four streams at different qualities and resolutions out to Twitch, then you also want to record in OBS, you've maxed out your encoding sessions. Downsides? Yep. Unless you have a graphics card with dual encoders, you probably don't want to be maxing out your sessions as you'll potentially be hurting performance and end up with drop frames or just straight up overload the encoder, which can crash OBS and take your streams offline, ruin your recordings, things like that. So upping the limit to eight gives you a lot more flexibility once this feature on Twitch reaches a broader rollout. What GPUs have dual encoders? Well, these ones. A lot of these can be had cheap on eBay. So building a dedicated stream rig with an NVIDIA GPU with a lot of encode session power can be quite affordable. Now, being happy about NVIDIA raising this limit is cool and all, but Radeon's limit is anywhere from 16 to unlimited, depending on GPU generation, and Intel Arc, is a little less clear at the time of recording. Seems like no limit, but again, performance might suffer if you push too hard, so be aware of that. So to me, that explains why NVIDIA didn't make a big fuss about this. So if you like the information that I gave you, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and follow on Twitch, and we can talk more about Twitch news and streaming tech and PC hardware and all that stuff.